Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this. The IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. Blah, 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 blah. It's the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. That's what everyone just calls it. IT Cosmetics is new to Sephora Canada, so I was very excited to get it. I hear lots of great things on the interwebs about IT Cosmetics. So I went in, I tried a whole bunch of these, and then I bought the one that matched my skin the best, which was actually not the lightest, surprisingly enough. So let's take a look at on the Sephora Canada website. This is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better C CC Cream Plus. It's $49. I know, so expensive. That's expensive. But I bought it anyway. I have mine in the shade Medium. It says, uh, best-selling, award-winning, full-coverage, color-correcting cream, blah, blah, blah. Color-correcting cream, honestly, like, they have so much just jargon in here about how great for your skin this CC cream is, and that's fantastic and amazing, but this is a giant paragraph that we don't need to read. How to use, apply one or two pumps to clean skin using the Heavenly Skin uh, brush, so their brush, <laughs> can be used as your moisturizer, anti-aging serum, concealer, foundation, and sunscreen based on your coverage needs. For best results, apply a smooth, even layer to your face, neck, and decollete. So I have wanted to try this CC cream for years. Like, I was always watching the big YouTubers use it, and I was like, that looks so nice. Their skin looks beautiful. So when Sephora Canada finally got a cosmetics, like, this was the first thing I wanted to get. Even before the powder that I reviewed a couple weeks ago, I was like, I want this. And this does have really great coverage, and it does have really great lasting power, but I feel like this is some meant for someone with skin drier than mine. I have kind of dry skin to begin with, but I do get quite oily in my T-zone. The rest of my face is dry, and I even feel like on my dry areas, this is maybe a little bit too much. By the end of the day, even if I've like really set my face with powder, I look a little bit like a grease ball. You can like really see my pores. It's just, it doesn't sit nice on my face for a long time, and that means that it really transfers. So the couple of times that I, I have like worn this and I've gone somewhere and my, my, my face has touched something, I notice foundation on the thing that it touches. And that's weird because I haven't ever really heard that experience from anyone else with this uh, foundation, CC cream, if you will. I really only feel like I've ever heard rare reviews because it has great coverage, but something about it just doesn't mix well with my skin and I get like oil slick greasy within like an hour of wearing it and then I stay that way for the whole rest of the day. It does stay on my face. It's got good lasting power, but it transfers and it makes me greasy and therefore, I don't really wear it uh, unless I have to. And I think I might actually return it to Sephora and get a different foundation instead. It's very sad when you're excited for something and it doesn't meet your expectations, but it's not the foundation's fault, it's my skin. I really do think it's just my skin reacting with the foundation and they didn't go well together. So if you find that we have similar skin styles, if you like the kind of foundations and the skincare that I like, I wouldn't recommend this. But if you have super duper dry skin, you might you might really like the A Cosmetic CC Cream because it might sit really nice on your face. And then if you have like super bone dry skin, they have an illuminating version, but I can't even imagine trying the illuminating version when I can't even get, get this one to dry down. So yeah, that was a very quick review, but that's really all I have to say on the A Cosmetic CC Cream. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe if you have not subscribed already, and I will see you next time. Bye!